Hey guys, I'm Rachel and today we are talking all about natural deodorants. Should you switch? What my experience was like? Is it worth switching? Things like that. So um, let's hop into it. Okay, so I thought I should do this video because I know like natural is like a thing, like switching to natural deodorants, like um, having natural hairstyles, things like that um, is becoming a thing. And I did try it and I feel like I should share my experience with you. But before I start, let me say um, about my uploads on YouTube. Now I try to upload every Sunday. Sometimes it just, it just doesn't happen the way you plan. I will always try to, to um, record, release a video at least once a week and if I have the time at least twice a week. But sticking to um, a schedule, an upload schedule kind of puts pressure on me because I want to stay consistent. You know, I'm not a quitter. I want, I, I know that um, I have people out there who are looking forward to the uploads on Sundays and things like that. So, but sometimes it gets difficult. Like things happen that I have no control over. For example, last week Sunday, I couldn't upload on Sunday. As if you notice, I uploaded Monday because my internet was just not having it. I couldn't upload the video and it was ready and everything. So I will try to stick to Sundays, but whenever I have any difficulties or things, I will just upload whatever day until maybe things are just more stable with my life and, and things like that. But like sticking to a upload schedule, it could be kind of difficult and I want to stay consistent. So at least once a week, I would upload a video. I'm just not sure if it's always going to be on a Sunday. So I thought I should address that. Now, now that I strayed, let's get into what this video is really about. Okay, so natural deodorant. So let me start with the reasons for me wanting to switch to natural deodorant. First of all, there's this aluminum thing associated with uh, breast cancer and things like that. And you would think that that would be the reason for me wanting to switch, which wasn't totally the reason because I just feel like these days everything has some health risk um, attached to it. Please excuse the noises in my background, okay? Everything these days has some health risk attached to it. So that was not my number one reason. Uh, my first reason being that I exfoliate myself really well. Like I use my exfoliate gloves every day. I do have that in my fall necessities and I still use them. I use them, I buy them in Ulta. You can find them anywhere. I use that every day I shower and I really exfoliate my underarms. But whenever I shave, I always see some sort of buildup on my blade. And I use these blades, the eyebrow shapers, because I'm allergic to blades. Um, my skin just don't react very well to them. I have like, you know, sort of sensitive skin. So I use this blade and I shave and I shave. I, I try to do it once a week because I'm sensitive. Um, and there's always some sort of buildup on the blade every time I shave and I'm like, it bothers me. I'm like, why is that happening to, you know, I, just, I showered, you know what I mean? So that's my first reason. My second reason is um, like whites. I feel like my deodorant stains my whites to this light yellow color. Like I noticed it, really, really noticed it the other day. I wore this white blouse for the first time and it was light yellow after I took it off. I'm like, I hate that. You know, white is supposed to stay white. I hate that it stains my underarms. And my third reason is, I feel like if you repeat a top enough, it doesn't all come out in the wash because unless you're, you're there um, hand washing your underarms, it doesn't, the machine doesn't get to your underarms, if you know what I mean. So I feel like if you repeat a top enough, it, um, after a while, it just, to me, it smells weird. There's a weird scent, not like a bad scent, but it's like a weird scent to me. I don't know if anyone could identify to that. And if you can, comment down below. So I hated, hated that. So I was like, let me try switching to a natural deodorant, see if it will remedy these issues that I have. So I just switched cold turkey. I went to Ulta and I just bought myself a natural deodorant. Within the first week of using it, I noticed my underarms were just really wet. Like I wasn't used to this wet feeling and it was so annoying. And I was like, damn, I switched in when the, the, the heat was coming, like summer was coming. Um, and I hated that my underarm just letting me know that it's there. I'm like, what the frick is going on? You know, so I hated the wetness, so I just quit. I stopped it after like a week. Then I said to myself, you know what? You are not a quitter. 
you have to at least give this a fair shot to know because I, I mean those issues I mentioned in the beginning they, they meant something to me you know so I was like you know what I get bikini waxes so I was like let me wax my underarms too because you know I'm sensitive to the bleed like I mentioned so let me start fresh let me do some research wax my underarms start fresh did my research found some people saying yes they experienced the witness they talked about the rashes and allergic and, and allergic reactions to the deodorants and a whole sort of things they also spoke about um the detoxing your underarms and stuff like that so i did my research i switched the deodorant to a native deodorant i bought an underarm armpit detox scrub thing to use to help with the transition because it's a transition because you're detoxing your body from all the aluminum and stuff from regular deodorants so i ordered everything got my underarm wax because i was like no more shaving for me let me do this this way started the same things happening like i'm wet but i'm not as wet as i was when i was using the, the other deodorant the deodorant held up pretty pretty well i never smelled myself never never did it last so well i just was having this issue with the wetness and to have to constantly um check i always walk to the deodorant in my bag and i also purchased this underarm wipe so like during the day i would wipe my underarm because i hated the wet feeling and um i would reapply the deodorant just to be sure so as you can see it's a lot of work and a lot of remembering and i'm on work and i'm busy and i don't have time for it and i hate the uncomfortable feeling of me feeling wet and i'm constantly smelling my underarm so it was just a lot for me it was like another thing on my to-do list and i hated that <sighs> stay hydrated As I was saying, so I hated the wet feeling, but I was like, let me continue to do this shit. About a week into me doing it, um, I decided to lift my underarms. Like within all that time, I never lift my underarms to see what was going on. When I lift up my underarms, I almost passed out on the floor. My daughter almost had to pick me up off the floor. Underneath my arms were like a map. Some areas were totally dark and some areas were blistered, they were red. It's like, what the hell is going on? And it started to itch. And mind you, it was itching me a little while before I actually lifted my underarms, but I just never did. I don't know why, like why didn't I? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it was like totally different. I was scared of my underarms. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? So I stopped immediately. I'm like, what is causing the reaction? Is it the detox thing that I'm using? Is it the deodorant that I'm using? Is it the fact that this is the first time I wax my underarm? But I'm like, I'm accustomed to getting bikini waxes and nothing happened. So I just was confused. I also had um, like, I was getting like um, a cyst underneath one of my arms. It was painful. And that's something I used to experience when I used to like shave. Um, I would get cysts and abscess and actually have to go to the hospital and have them removed and things like that and that was happening at one point I remember my underarms were like hurting they were like they hurt they, for a couple of days they just felt they fe I, I was in pain underneath my arm but bearable pain you know I, I remember that so like I said I quit I stopped immediately I'm like I don't know what's causing this reaction and I went back to my using my natural deodorant well that's another story i started to smell myself i started to smell myself i went back using the deodorant that i used to use and i was getting odor from underneath my arms it's like my honor was saying what the fuck are you doing bitch what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing to me i'm like what the fuck is this so it's like my underarms were confused because I was detoxing and using this natural deodorant and I just quit and went right back to using that and for a couple of days it took me a while for my underarms to like normalize again for my regular deodorants to start working and it was like stress for my underarms within that time my underarms were peeling like I got burnt um, the, 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 the blister started to heal it was itching it was just a whole whole mess an entire mess so i started to like moisturize my underarms more and you know like be really careful with it until i got to the point now where 
it's healing up nicely. I stopped using the natural deodorant and I'm using my regular deodorant and my body's reacting to the way it used to with my regular deodorant. I'm not smelling myself anymore. Thank God. And so this is the point that I'm at. So in my conclusion with natural deodorants is I don't think I did it long enough to have an opinion of it yet because I really don't know what caused the reaction. So I'm thinking that I will try it when the weather is cooler, like in the fall, uh, winter months. I will try it again. Maybe by then I will get used to waxing my underarms if that was the issue or whatever. And I'll really, really know. So I will try it again and I would not deter anyone from trying it. My unpopular opinion is going to be an unpopular opinion. I don't think that natural is always better. Sometimes our body just cannot process the natural stuff. They need to be broken down to be processed and consumed and absorbed into our skin sometimes. So I don't always feel like natural is the best route. Like I said, I don't know what caused the reaction. All I know is I had a reaction to the natural deodorant, but I will try it again. So <laughs> I hope that this, this will help someone out there who is trying to transition to natural deodorant and doing research. I really recommend you do your research before you actually jump into anything you choose to transition or do always do your research and have your information like google is there is free use it use it so you have a better idea of what you're doing when you're actually going to something certain things just won't surprise you so yeah so that's my whole experience my what, what i went through with trying to transition to the natural deodorant thing but i will say that the native deodorant is really really nice and like i said i never smelled myself when i was trying to transition it was just the wetness that i didn't like and clearly i was having some sort of allergic reaction to something so that's my experience share this video share this video here on youtube on your facebook page whatever it might help someone because like i said natural is the thing is the it thing these days look at my hair my hair is natural as well. I've been doing this protective style. I just touched it up. I will link um, the girl who did my hair in the description box because I got so, so many questions about my hair. I will, on all my social media platforms, I got questions about my hair. So I'm going to link it in the bottom bar in case you missed it before. Plug in straight totally from the topic. As usual, what is new? So thank you so much for watching and I hope this information was helpful to someone out there and share it so that other people can find it and find it uh, helpful for them as well. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome to the family. I upload once a week. I upload once a week. <laughs> I am a nail tech and I work in makeup artists out here in Brooklyn. All my social media platform links will be in the description box. Follow me there, see my work and how to book me as well will be in the description box so thank you so much for watching let's continue to touch the world one face at a time and i'll see you in my next tutorial next week <laughs> bye guys